Okay, let's look at short division. Let's say that we have the number 270, and we would like to divide that by 9. Well, this is fairly easy, because 9 goes into 27 three times, and 9 goes into zero, 0 times. So what's the key of dividing with short division? Well, this is the only place where we actually start our working out on the left hand side in addition, subtraction, multiplication. We always start working from the right hand side, but when we are dividing we always start working on the left hand side. So what would we have done then if we had divided the number 207 by 9 instead? Let's have a look here. Well, 9 goes into 20 two times. But we didn't use all of those 20, because 2 times 9 is actually only 18. And we had 20 here, so we had 2 left over. So if we think of the top number as being number of sweeties, and we think of the bottom number as being the number of children that would like to eat those sweeties, if we had 20 sweets, and we had to share them between 9 children, all the children would get two sweeties each, but there would be two left over that we actually carry over to the next number. So now we have a new number here. Our new number is 27. We have 27 sweets and nine children. How many sweets will all the children get? Well, three nines are exactly 27. So three, three sweets each is what all the children will get. So we can show mathematically, that 207 divided by 9 is 23, giving us our final answer. So here's some simple short divisions where we actually don't need the decimal number, but it's not a problem if we do need um, to continue. What do we do if we get numbers that don't divide exactly? When you were younger kids, you used to put a remainder, but you don't actually need to know that. Let's say that we would like to divide 200 and 11 by 3. What do we do then? Well, 3, uh, I think of the top number as being our sweeties, and the bottom number as being people. 2 sweets divided by 3 people doesn't go, so we have to actually divide 21. 21 sweets divided by 3 people would give everybody 7 sweets each, and there are no sweets left over. So this number is now done, and then I tried to divide 1 by 3. Now, 1 divided by 3, I've got 1 sweetie and 3 people. That's not going to go. They can't suck on each other's sweets. So the answer there would be nobody gets a sweet. And that 1 is left over. So where do I put the 1? Well, I put it on the next number as I did before. But what is the number that's after this 1? Well, we could actually say that 211 is exactly the same as 211.0000000, and those zeros could carry on to infinity because we don't actually need to use them. But we move that 1 that we didn't use here, that we weren't able to use, over to the next decimal 0. And we put our decimal point in the answer now because we're we finished doing whole numbers, we now have a new set of numbers, which is 10. What is 10 sweets divided by 3 people? Well, 10 divided by 3 gives us 3 sweets each, and we would get one left over again. Can you see that there's going to be a pattern now? That these 10 sweets divided by these 3 people is going to give us a 3, and then there'd be one left over. So our pattern would be that the 3 would go on and on and on forever and ever. And in maths terms, we can actually write that by putting a little dot over the 3. That's telling us that this 3 continues. It's called a recurring 3. It continues forever and ever and ever. But it would take us forever in maths if we were to write all of those numbers. We would never get anything done. So we can just put a dot on the top. Then... We would. This is an exact answer. This means 70.33333 and those number of threes never answer. We would probably approximate that to a reasonable number of decimal places according to the question. Let's see we were answering to one decimal place. 
we would say that this is 70.3 to one decimal place. Where the squarely equal sign here is letting you know that we've now approximated our exact answer, which was here, into an answer that's rounded off to one decimal place. One of the main keys to dividing with short division is the very common mistake that is often made here is that when we actually say to ourselves that 1 divided by 3 doesn't go, it goes 0 times, that we actually remember to write that 0 there. Because one of the most common mistakes I see when children are doing um, division is that they will work out most of it correctly here. They'll say 21 divided by 3 goes 7 times, 1 divided by 3 doesn't go, so they'll move the 1 over, and then they'll go 10 divided by 3 goes 3, and then they get this answer, 7.3. They should be able to look back at the question and say, is it reasonable that 200 divided by 3 is going to give me an answer of 7? No. What have I done wrong here? I have forgotten to put in my 1 divided by 3 goes 0 times super important to remember that if it didn't go, if you were able to say no, I can't do that, then I will get a zero in my answer.